Welcome to Gamer to Game Developer Series 1. I'm your instructor, GTGD, and I'm going to show you how to use the Unity multiplayer system in Unity 2017. So I've completely replaced the old GTGDS1 that was on Steam. So this is the new GTGDS1. It's a lot more concise than the old one, a lot shorter, but a lot more useful. And I, why don't I just show it to you in action? So I'll just use it right now. Just launch it there and start it. So this is the launcher. So once you have GTGDS1 on your computer, you've installed it, you'll end up with this launcher and then you can open the videos folder and from there watch the videos themselves. So they're all in MP4 format. You've got all of the project folders as well. So for the project folders, just copy them somewhere, unzip it and then open it with Unity so that you keep your original files intact. And then you can also try out the built game, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to open two copies so that I can show you the uh, multiplayer system in action. All right, so I've got two copies open and I'm going to call them like something different each one. So this one say player red and this one I'm going to call say player blue. And I can then select the character. All I've done is to make the blue guy the uh, character zero and the red guy character one. So with this one, I'll select character one. With this guy, I'll make sure it's character zero. And let's say I'll use this guy as the host. And I can actually select maps, map one, map two. Uh, I'll leave it as map one, and then I'll join as map two to show you that you can uh, change maps as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and just create an internet match here. It'll just take a moment and then jump in. All right, here we go, we're in game. Okay, so let me just go over to the other guy and uh, enable the matchmaker. So enable matchmaking, because matchmaking is a public game. So this is a public game that's visible on the internet. So anyone who's running this game can actually find it. So here we go. You'll be developing all of this stuff and you'll develop this UI, the custom network manager that drives this. And you can then be able to find internet matches. You can create an internet match. Obviously you saw that. You can then join an internet match. And once you're in, uh, basically, you'll be able to see the other character as well with animation. So you'll learn about syncing the animation across the network, displaying the player name, etc. Uh, they also have health bars, so you have shooting and health as well. Uh, so, for example, if I just keep going ahead, shooting, okay, so the other player has been defeated and they're respawning. Uh, so you learn that as well. So let's go have a look. This guy has now moved off over here and he's off here in the distance. Okay, so that was that sort of thing. Now you can also do chatting as well, so you'll learn how to do that. So you could, for example, send a chat message, and then it'll appear on the other player's uh, output field. So why don't I say another one, say hello as well, and there we go. Our player blue has sent a hello message to the other guy. Okay, so that's excellent. And uh, well, why don't I then show you about um, more or less connecting with a uh, another map. So I'll disconnect here, and uh, disconnect from this one too. And this time I'm going to say, say map two, and I'm going to enable the matchmaker. I'm going to call this, uh, say, map two as the room name and create that internet match. All right, here we go. So this is a nighttime scene. This is map two. And if I come over to the other guy, I can enable the matchmaker. I can uh, find the internet match and then go ahead and connect. Okay, and there we go. I'm inside of the uh, map two, and that's it. Okay, so we've got our player character there. Uh, it's all synced and going. Uh, so that's excellent. So the you'll you'll learn all of that. It's not that difficult, but I'll show you how to do it all in a pretty simple way. You'll be done in under four hours. Basically, you'll have completed the project, all of this networking stuff. You'll have learned that. You'll understand how to use commands, client RPCs, sync vars, how to be able to, you know, as I told you, be able to select a scene, how to be able to select characters and network chatting. And it's all pretty uh, simple but fundamental stuff. Well, it's simple once you know how to do it, but it's all fundamental stuff. All right, so all of that is covered in this tutorial series. You'll find the the um, uh, f the basically the first instructional video, which is video two, uh, on the Steam 
uh, page so right there so if I just jump over here it's there for you to view it'll also be on my YouTube channel as a sample as well so you can go ahead and watch that before actually getting this but if you've already gotten this then you're watching me saying this well I should say thank you very much for getting uh, GT GDS1 and supporting my efforts and also I believe that you will find this to be quite beneficial so it's I basically have been doing uh, this sort of stuff for quite a few years and well from it um, you this is the updated version of all of my knowledge so this is the best of what I could give you in terms of multiplayer game development in unity at this time and really in a concise way and in a way that I've, I've designed it so that you can actually walk away with the maximum benefit in the minimum amount of time that's that's been my focus here all right anyway so I do hope you find this quite helpful and uh, yeah please do give me feedback as you go through and I'm also interested in seeing whatever you're working on so yeah feel free to make sure to post uh, things of what you're working on in the community hub area in the discussions so anyway thank you for that and I'll see you later